Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Lisa, and I'm here to share a word given to a brother, Kevin Barrett. This word was posted today, May 6th, but he received this word on May 1st of 2019. The title is Seek the Father's Will for Your Life. Word from the Lord. My children, listen to your good shepherd this day, for I come to bring you refreshing and direction. I need you all to listen intently to what I would say to you, for the enemy of your soul has come against many of you lately with attacks on your bodies, minds, and souls. But I have defeated him, and I have given you the victory over all the wiles of the enemy. Therefore rest in me and declare your victory. Now listen. The reason the enemy has been attacking so many of you lately is that he fears what is ahead. He fears what I am about to impart unto my people. My dearest ones, I come to you this day to give you great strength and wisdom. I have many plans for the preparing of my great move upon the earth in these last days. And in this I will empower my people with great wisdom and strategies for planning, building, and prospering intensely. However, listen to what I would say unto you. These great strategies with wisdom and empowerment are not for furthering any kingdom or agenda of man, yet it is for the establishment of my end-time church in the earth. Therefore, I need you all to come unto me and lay down your agendas and ambitions and allow me to give you the will of my Father for your lives. For many of you, it will be a changing of ministry, business, or occupation. Yet for others, it will merely be a fulfillment of what I've already been working within you. Oh, my dearest ones, I am so excited for what is in store for my people in these last days. While the world stumbles in darkness, my chosen ones will have great strength and light to uphold and guide them. Therefore, I need you all to come aside unto me and allow me to impart my Father's will upon your hearts. And in doing this, you shall receive great joy as your strength with an intense desire to fulfill the Father's will. I need you to do this, my people. For while the world shakes and crumbles in these last days, my chosen ones will be strong and do great exploits. Therefore, I give you this warning as well. Just as you have been witnessing a shaking in the governments of men, so too shall you soon witness a great shaking in the churches of men, and they shall be forced to make decisions that will set the course for their destiny, either for good or for evil. But listen to what I would say regarding this. I know that many who are still within the churches of men have an authentic love for me, and as I have promised in my written word, I shall not break any bruised reed, nor quench any smoke, smoking flax, until I have brought forth justice in the earth. Therefore, everyone who is truly mine shall not be cast aside, but will be led out of the churches of men and gathered unto me to be with those in the body in whom I connect them with. My Father has many plans for his people in these last days, for it is time to prepare a people who will be holy and righteous, just as I and my Father are holy and righteous. But I do not speak of the holiness or righteousness that many of your blind guides speak of. No, I speak of true holiness and righteousness, that is without any spot of sin or blemish of the flesh. I speak of my holiness and righteousness, dwelling in its fullness within my people. 
Therefore, I need you all to come unto me and receive what I have for you. I need you to lay down your will, take up your cross, and follow me wherever I take you. But do not think that I shall leave you to do this in your own strength or wisdom. No, I shall give you all the strength and wisdom to fulfill the will of the Father in all that you lay your hands to. And I shall go before you to make a way even where there seems to be no way. Oh, how joyful I am for you all. For you are in the last days where much of my written word and prophecies shall now be fulfilled, and my church shall once again be a light to the world as it was meant to be. Now listen, there are many still within the churches of men who will not be willing to come out because of their own agendas and desires. I tell you, it will not be well with them during the time of shaking of the church that is coming. For I give you this promise, those who do not come out of the Babylonian church when I give the last call to come out will share in her sins and partake in her plagues. I tell you the truth, you do not want to be a part of that. But also take comfort in this. I will shake the churches of men like never before, so that those with even the least desire for my holiness will have no choice but to come out and join themselves unto me and my true fold, because the churches of men will be filled to overflowing with sin and filth. O oh, my lovely ones, how I desire to take you all under my wings of protection for the dark days that are coming Many will be running to and fro, seeking shelter from the evil, calamities, and destruction coming upon the earth. But only those with a pure heart doing the will of my Father will have my protection upon them. Therefore, do not hesitate in coming unto me and seeking for my Father's will for you in this hour. And do not weary yourselves with this. If you would but rest in my perfect peace and have faith as you ask, seek, and knock, I will impart revelation of my Father's will upon your heart, and then you shall know that you are to be busy doing, or sorry, you shall know what you are to be busy doing in these last days. But do not think that I shall give you all of my Father's plans at once. For each day shall bring its own trials. Therefore, so long as you come unto me daily and lay down your own will for my Father's will to be done, you shall be given direction in all that you are to do. Oh, how I love you all with an everlasting love, and it is my Father's greatest desire to give you his kingdom. Therefore, once again I say, do not hesitate in seeking me in this. I tell you the truth, if you do, you shall not be disappointed. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light, and you shall be given the desires of your heart as your will aligns with me and the Father. Love and blessings to you all, your brother in Christ, Kevin B. And that is the end of the message. I hope this is an encouraging word out there for all of you. And we just need to stay on course, keep our focus on, on our Lord and Savior, and only listen to Him. So you all have a beautiful day in the Lord. God bless you all, and I will see you next video or in the air. Bye-bye.